Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a crock pot video for y'all. This is gonna be four crock pot meals that you can do this summer. I love using the crock pot all year long, but especially in the summer because my kitchen gets so hot with my gas stove and this helps for my kitchen to stay cool. We don't get sweaty. It doesn't make my AC pop on as much, so it saves money. <laughs> like, I love crock pot meals and it's really simple and easy. We are busy every single day in the summer it seems like and so it's just easy to have a meal ready in the evening so I hope that y'all enjoy all of the video details recipes instructions are down below in the description box if you give them a try let me know what you think and I will see y'all after the video I got this picture in my closet it's gathering dust right now and the edges have been folded once or twice okay guys so this recipe was so yummy my kids loved it it's just frozen meatballs in the crock pot one can of pineapple chunks one bottle of barbecue sauce of your choice this is the Aldi brand that is a knockoff of sweet baby rays so you're just going to try to get as much of it out as you can you're gonna do some soy sauce. I'm gonna put all of the measurements down in the description box. A little bit of minced garlic. I did about a tablespoon. And then this is the best part, red wine vinegar. This helped give the recipe a really good flavor. And then the brown sugar kind of counteracted the vinegar flavor. But you're just going to let this cook on low for a couple of hours and you're going to stir it if you can throughout the day. If you can't, it's totally fine. So what I'm about to do is totally optional. Um, I'm going to put the ceramic pot in the oven on broil and this is going to help make the meatballs crunchy. I don't like the texture of them being soggy. So you could do this or you could um, put parchment paper like in an air fryer and then scoop these and put them in an air fryer and toast them for a little bit. But we're gonna do this. Uh, the time, I'm just gonna base it off of the way it looks. I don't want it to burn, but I want it to be a little crunchy. All right, so for this, we're gonna do root beer and barbecue sauce, and we're gonna cook on low for like eight hours. When it's done cooking, you're just gonna shred the meat with two forks and then you can use this on sliders, you can put it on a bun, you can eat it with rice, anything that you want. Then I decided I was gonna make some coleslaw. So I bought this package of coleslaw, but it did not come with mix. So all I did was mix together some mayo, lemon juice, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and a little bit of sugar.
Okay guys, so this was probably my favorite recipe out of the whole entire video. All you're gonna need is two to three pounds of chicken breast and top it with salt and pepper. And then you are going to put Italian seasoning and one stick of butter. Okay, then you're gonna take the juice of two lemons and then you're going to use their zest. So if you have never zested a lemon, it's really easy. You're just gonna take a cheese grater and you are going to rub the outside skin of the lemon on the grater until it creates kind of like a little lemon powder and you're just gonna dump it in the crock pot with the chicken. So once your chicken is done cooking, you're gonna make the cream. You can use half and half. You can honestly use heavy cream or even milk if you wanted to. You're gonna use one cup of half and half and then you're gonna put in one tablespoon of cornstarch and you're going to mix it together until all of the clumps are dissolved. And then you're gonna add in some bouillon powder. This is a huge tub that I have of bouillon powder. You're just gonna put in a tablespoon. I did two tablespoons and it tasted great. You're gonna mix it all together and then you're gonna pour it over the chicken and then let it continue to warm for about 10 to 20 minutes. And I did not shred the chicken, we ate it whole. And this created a really yummy sauce. You could even put um, spinach in this. I have done that before. It's been a couple of years since I've made this recipe. But basically, we're just gonna eat this on top of rice and I'm gonna put the extra sauce on top of the rice as well. All right, so if you have taco seasoning on hand, you could totally do this, but I'm just gonna use some chili powder, salt and pepper, and some cumin and cook this meat up. This was another really amazing recipe, but it's super simple and easy. Right now you're gonna take some cornbread mix and I'm gonna use Jiffy 
So I'm doubling this recipe. I'm going to do two eggs and then two thirds a cup of milk and then three cups of cornbread powder or mix. And then you're going to mix everything together and then you're going to pour this on top of your meal in the crock pot. Spread it out as evenly as you can and then you're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed all of these videos. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed the recipes. Give them a try yourself. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.